clothing options. Um, I normally don't go with like the lightest skin. I normally go with like the, the third tone skin. So that's what I'm gonna do. Hi! He looks tired. Actually, can I go back? So we've got normal, tired, um, looking for a night out. Cutesy girl. Looks like she's about to destroy the world and just complete dope. Okay, I'm going with complete dope. Um, you know, it's really important. If you don't have a character that looks nifty, then you might as well not be playing the game. Um, I have no idea what I want to go with. I don't actually like any of these hairstyles whatsoever. Um, so I'll go with the second one. Stop talking about the heat wave. I'm already annoyed. My hair colour. I always choose blue. Where's the blue? There's no blue. Oh, whatever, I'm gonna go with grey. Orange unites it or purple unites it? Is this like an important decision? Kind of like the colour on the orange set more. Okay, that's my ID. Fantastic. I'm glad that we've got that sorted. Professor Forrest, welcome to Aos Island. My name is Forrest. I am the head of the Aos Research Institute. I perform research on the mysterious energy known as Aos Energy, which per pervades Aos Island. You're new here to the island, aren't you? And you have the look of a Pokemon trainer about you. I suppose you came after hearing rumors of uh, Unite Battles. Unite Battles are Pokemon battles that make use of Aos Energy, but you'll have to learn the rules before you participate in Unite Battles yourself. Yeah, I know, look at those brows, what is that about? Crazy. I'll have one of our researchers, uh, B, take care of explaining the rules to you. Okay. Oh my god, he's kind of cool. Leave it to me, Professor Forrest. Nice to meet you, trainer. If you're a, if an explanation of Unite Battles is what you need, then I'm your man. Okay, uh, B. Let's go ahead and have a little practice with the Research Institute's Pikachu. Why is it always Pikachu, dude? I don't care. That's a nifty Metagross, though. I could dig the Metagross. Okay, game. Please don't suck. <laughs> Please don't suck. Apparently the matches only last about 10 minutes as well. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what's going on anymore, dude. Oh, look, there's a Lola and Raichu in the background. Pika! Boy. Alright, Irby, what's going on? Here we are. This is the practice area. This is the perfect place to learn the basics of your nice bells. Do I like guacamole? Don't even know if I've ever had guacamole, honestly. It's not a thing I think I've ever had. I think I would be okay with it because there's, like, maybe two foods that make me feel sick, but I'll still eat them if forced. But, I don't know. Unite battles are battles in which Pokemon from team or form teams to face off against each other. The winner of these battles is decided by the final score of both teams when time runs out. Let's start by practicing moving around here in the practice area. Okay. Oh goodness, it's a lot slower than I thought it'd be. Good job, keep on moving forward. I'm trying, I'm trying my best. A wild Apom. Ah, ah, he's beating me up, don't do it, monkey, no. <laughs> What is Pikachu's range like? That was a lot of range. Oh my goodness, what is this range? Jesus! Okay, I did not know that range would be that long. Collecting Aos energy in your Unite Ball and scoring a goal with that energy in one of the opposing team's goal zones will not or will net you points for your team. Victory goes to the team that scores the most points in its opponent's goal zones before time runs out. I see you've collected some Aos energy in your Unite Ball. Try scoring a goal. Okay. Score my first goal. Oh my god, guys. This is so epic. Which one's X? It's top, isn't it? I'm so used to PlayStation controllers. That is going to be so annoying. That's the spirit. Keep collecting Aos energy to increase your score. Okay. Guess we just have to beat up. Oh god, this range. That's insane. That's like most of the, most of the actual screen. 
That actually stuns? Oh my goodness. Why does Pikachu seem OP? So basketball, but also league. Yeah, basically. It's like a sporting arena. So I guess that's a thing. So X is score. We just have to hold it down and pop it in. I guess it wants us to get 30 points. Um, so would it be better to start off with Vault Tackle? So that you stun and then pop them out, I guess? Maybe attack, then Vault Tackle Electro Ball? Look, I can't I can't stop thinking about min-maxing. I'm so used to it. Uh, Pikachu leveled up. Time to learn a new move. Okay, ZL. Once your Unite move gauge charges to 100%, you can unleash your super strong Unite move. What, there's like five buttons? And that's it. Uh oh, looks like an opposing war turtle is defending the goal zone. You'll have to defeat that war turtle. Okay, so it's gonna get me to use my superpower move, right? Yeah, I, I, I get it. Okay, when you knock out a Pokemon from the opposing team, it may drop some of the Aeos energy it was carrying. Be sure to pick it up if you see it. On the other hand, this means that your opponents may also pick up your hard-earned Aeos energy if they knock you out. Keep this in mind when battling against the opposing team. So this is where some of the risk comes in, because like in other MOBAs where you drop experience or items, you also actually drop your collected balls. And I don't like dropping my balls, to be honest. Complete! Nicely done. All right, next, let's head over to the stadium to practice the team battle. Are we going to be playing versus AI for a little bit? All I care about is Cramorant. Okay, tutorial done. Great. Fantastic. Star Lizard. All right, let's try a five on five Unite battle with some other trainers. Your Pokemon will be Charizard. Oh no. Oh no, they are bots. I was going to say, really? We're going into live battles already? Please, game, you're gonna scare me. <laughs> I want Talonflame. That's. Congrats. Yes, I beat the game! Very cool, very cool, epic gaming. Now, I really wanna try Talonflame because I think Talonflame's a speedster, and then Cramorant, I believe, is an attacker. So I think Cramorant has the potential for, like, hard carry. Although he doesn't have any, um, movement, really. This is Mer Stadium. It's one of the actual venues for Unite Battles. The area shown in purple is your team's area and the orange is the opponent's. The map is split into two paths, one on the top and one on the bottom. Both teams' goal zones are located on these paths. Successfully depositing Aeos Energy in an opposing goal zone will earn points for your team. This is one of the opposing team's goal zones. You can score goals in these with the Aeos energy you collect. If multiple teammates gather in a single goal zone, goals can be scored faster. Ah, okay. Interesting. This is one of your team's goal zones. You can recover HP in these, making them very useful when you're in a pinch. All right, let's go ahead and try out a team battle. Don't worry, I'll be here to give you advice when you need it. Thank you, Irby. The team that scores the most points before time runs out wins. Give it your best. Charizard starts battle as a level 1 Charmander, it then levels up as the battle progresses and gradually evolves. Once the battle begins, you'll first want to defeat wild Pokemon to collect Aeos energy. Ready? Five minutes! Go! Let's go, Char Lizard! He wants us to go bot. Okay, we'll go bot. So you can see that Charmander has a much, much, uh lower attack range than Pikachu does. Pikachu's was insane. So that's my allied um, goal zone and they're going to be trying to score in there so we need to be aware of what's going on on the map basically. It is weird not having to aim with mouse though, I've got to say. Are you going to actually come and try and beat me up? Okay, your Pokemon's HP is low, you can recover HP by quickly entering one of your team's goal zones. I'm sort of nowhere near that though. Ah, no, how do I, no, how do I target the actual enemies that I want it to target? Rather than it targeting NPCs. 
I can already see that being a problem. Like, why is that a thing? I have evolved! Are you enjoying this Unite battle? I see your Pokemon has evolved into Charmeleon. You gain XP points by defeating wild Pokemon or knocking out Pokemon from the opposing team. As Pokemon level up, they may evolve mid-battle as yours just did. Go out and earn more XP points to evolve. Looks like your Pokemon has grown and can now learn a new move. Go ahead and choose one. Um, Fire Punch or Flamethrower? I guess we go Flamethrower then. But that's got a little bit more range on it. Fire Spin's going to be good for jungle clearing. I don't know, the Pikachu knock-up was pretty insane, honestly. Damn it, how do I actually aim things? Oh, it's with... That's how. Okay. So. Gotta get used to this system of actually aiming, because that's how you can actually hit things. I imagine a lot of people are just... Especially early on, are just not going to <laughs> be aware of that immediately. Looks like your Pokemon can learn a new move. Choose a move to teach your Pokemon. Uh, Flare Blitz or Fire Blast? Okay, let's go Flare Blitz. Okay. So yeah, we knock up when we do that. That that seems okay, honestly. Okay, can we score? Boom! Definitely to destroy that. Normally would we go top now? I don't really know what the uh, the general idea would be, but I guess I just farm for a little bit and we'll just beat up these guys still for now. Oh, damn it. See, if I'm going to try and quick attack, then uh, I can <laughs> I can see that guy badly. All right, let's go and beat up this Absol. Come on, I thought my ally was going to help me out here. He left me for dead. Bro, come back. Allies, why do you keep running away? Okay, so if I attack, it does actually pull me closer, which I wanted to confirm because it felt like that. If you press A, it actually draws you in. So when your Pokemon's knocked out, it drops the Aos energy, but there's no time to be down. The Pokemon will soon revive. Okay. Yeah, I sort of got what was happening. I just wanted to confirm when I was running away because it's like you press A and it will drag you forward. Is there a way to stop that, maybe? A uh, super jump and... Oh, Zapdos has appeared. This is the big jungle spawn guy, I believe. Zapdos appeared. Defeating Zapdos makes it easier for your team to score, but watch out, Zapdos isn't easy to take on. Battle with your teammates. So, can we actually do that? Are we, are we gonna... Yeah, they're already doing it. Okay. That took like three seconds. What the heck? Okay, it's pretty simple so far. It's mainly just about getting used to the buttons, how everything actually plays out. Starting now, everything's worth double points. If you move while scoring goal, your attempt to score will be interrupted. Oh my god, that was a lot of damage from him. Jesus. You say recover some HP, but I literally can't if he one-shots me. <laughs> this is highly educational. I mean, yeah, I'm just learning this game. I obviously have not touched the beta or anything for this game yet, so this is going to be... Um, literally me trying it out for the first time. So I'm mainly going to be doing a lot of testing of things because, especially in a game like this, rather than just not testing things and hoping it goes well, it's better to actually try things out. Wish I had some more movement abilities. Like, Absol's just in our base. 
Time's up. Why was Absol just in our base? You the heck? Win. You've never touched any MOBA. It happens. It's understandable. It's understandable. Keeping track of the map and uh, knowing what lanes and things to go in is the important thing. So we've got a Unite License. What the heck is that? Turn to the main menu, yes. How was it? Did you get a feel for how Unite battles work? Yeah, kinda. You can practice like this whenever you, f you like. If you feel the need to train a bit, check out practice. To commemorate your first Unite Battle, I'm going to give you a Pokemon Unite license as a present. Choose any one Unite license you'd like. Talonflame. 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 Yes. <laughs> it's not even a question. Of course it's Talonflame. Fantastic. I see that your trainer level increased after your last battle. You can get commemorative gifts from the Unite Battle committee whenever your trainer level increases. Press R to open the trainer level menu. Here you can check your trainer level and the commemorative gifts for reaching each level. Press A to claim this reward. Great, you've got a new Unite license. Having a Pokemon's Unite license will allow you to take it into Unite battles with you. I got a slow bro. Hog. Hog. Okay, cool. Um, so we get Venusaur at five. Do we get any others? Wow, really? We don't get a single other guaranteed Pokemon at any stage. Okay. I'll claim my daily login bonus, Pog Champion. Did game, did game just break? Did... Oh my god, has the game already crashed? <laughs> oh no! Okay, there we go. Oh, okay, thank goodness. <laughs> I was gonna say, this suit... Really? This soon? Closet stuff. Oh, I got new outfits. Yes, please. Short skirt. Yes, please. I take my shoes off. No shoes, no socks. No gloves. We going in naked, boys. No headwear. Yes. Well, I did, didn't I? Yeah, see? See, game? Don't tell me I did that wrong. I knew I did that right. Lies. Lies. Okay, launch bonus. Thank Ooh, yeah, that's right. We get Zera Aura, don't we? Melee speedster difficulty expert. <laughs> okay. Aos Island, you have completed your trainer registration. Now try your hand at a battle. Okay, cool. So Pokemon skis. Okay, we've got Zera Aura, and for a limited time we've got these four. So to begin with, we only actually have three. So how do I get? Cram crap. So it's the same price for all of them. 8,000 currency. Looks like there are some cheaper ones. Yeah, 6,000, but I want cram cram. I'm curious to see how much this would be. Like, 8 bucks. Eight bucks per character. Look at him though! Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, can we use them in practice? Oh my goodness, you can actually practice any of the characters even if you don't own them. That's actually so good. What? I don't even own Cram Cram yet, I can practice with him. OMG. That's surprisingly... player friendly. What? I'm, I'm actually quite impressed. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Well, if this is gonna be my only taste of Cram Cram for a while...
Feels like pocket all of a sudden. Maybe it does. Let's go, Crick Bram! Oh, look at him! They got quite a lot of range on Crown Cram from the looks of it. Oh, he does multi target attacks. So, Whirlpool, we also do have to aim. Interesting. I am going to be the world's number one Cram Cram player. Just you watch. Wait, Feather Dance? What does that do? S slow them down? There's a few seconds before it activates, but... Oh, so you can- oh my goodness, that's gonna be good. Like, for quick movement and just seeing if there's anything ahead, I could see that being really good, actually. Um, should we go with Hurricane, see how that works out? Double knock up on a melee. I thought he was meant to be just an attacker, but is that actually a double knock up? Interesting. Oh, whoops. I did not mean to aim that there at all. This is what I mean. It's going to be sake of having to get used to how all the buttons work and how to quick select. So I've reached the max amount of balls that I can hold. So we slam dunk into that goal. We gotta collect some more. Is that a big one? A big ball? Any big balls? Okay, so they're obviously attacking from the brush over there. Damn it! How do I get that to not do that from the opposite side? That's annoying. Can we reach him? No, we can't. Okay, I need to get used to the timing on this. That's really annoying me. <laughs> like, if I don't feel comfortable pressing the buttons quickly, I'm gonna have a really, really annoying time. Like, why, why does it do that? Oh, actually. That'd be a good way of keeping people uh, on their toesies. Like, aiming it in the opposite direction. Maybe I need to change the sensitivity options. I think might be, might be a way of doing it. This seems like a really easy way to completely screw up during a team fight. <laughs> Just by accidentally pressing way too far. Okay. I know that we've got different lanes, so they probably are expecting something around. Why am I so slow? Ah, it's if you go at a certain point towards the enemies, uh... I get it. If you're in that orange section of the spawn, you get slowed massively. Ah. Is that maybe to stop, like, uh, dungeon destruct- not dungeon, uh, jungle destruction, maybe? That's my guess. Alright. Are there any other enemies up top? Let's go and pop these in, then go and look for some allies, because is it just throwing just me and Gibble in? Oh, actually, yeah, it did ask me to select characters at the beginning, didn't it? So that's probably why. What's my Unite move? Is my Unite move the turret by any chance? It is. Just an auto-attacking turret. Look at him go. Oh, damn it. So how hard is Drudnor to actually take down? Can I solo him? Maybe not. Maybe not this early on, at least. Uh, 
I wonder if we can do the same thing as we do in League where we draw aggro out and stop ourselves from being able to be auto attacked? I don't know. Seems like he gains health back really quickly though if you run away. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, he's level three. He isn't he isn't gonna get anything. But is it possible for me to quit out of this? I actually don't know how to quit out. So up is chat. Keep the pressure on to base. So down is base spawn. Again, that's how we can check the map. Um so how do I quit out? Practice options, so we can put invincibility, move cooldowns up, no wild Pokemon. Is that just not a... Is that not a quit option? Ah, there we go. Brightness. Outlines on, show cooldown decimal values. Um, I want that on actually. Vibrate function. Colorblind, I don't need that. Okay. Okay. You win. you win! Great. Fantastic. I'll never be able to touch Cramorant again. Feels bad, dude. I don't get any Aos coins for that. What are these events? Daily missions? Log in. I did that. That was me. Participate in one battle, participate in three battles, win a battle, win two battles, participate in one quick battle. Okay. Okay. And welcome here. You can check out the Unite Battle Committee, Aos Emporium, and Zerko Training to do a little shopping. In Aos Emporium, you can get all sorts of items, including fashion items and Zerko Training. Fashion? You can get some real unique items there. First, let's head to the Unite Battle Committee. Fashion! You can obtain Unite licenses here by exchanging Aos coins or Aos gems. Yeah, I took a look at that earlier. That's the only one I care about. What's Zerko trading though? Skins? Flames look cool. Who is this guy with a saber like? He's scary. Cramorant set. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, that lady has a chatter? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, do you think chatter is going to be a playable character? Don't, don't give me that hope. Oh my, I would be screaming. If chatter was a playable character, oh my. Can I obtain this? That is very expensive. Like 1,300? That would be like... You'd need to buy the 40 pound bundle for that. No, the 20 pound bundle. What? What? 20 squids per cremorant skin? What? 20 squiddies? That's kind of crazy. Okay, whatever. That's sad. That saddened me. What is this? 14 day welcome gifts? We get a Lolan Ninetales tomorrow, and then we can get um, Scorbunny then. Then Greninja on day 14. Okay. Says there's still an event. What, what do you want me to look at? Oh. Let's claim this. Quick battles. Defeat electrode. Okay, let's just go. Begin matchmaking. I am ready.
add an attacker to boost team synergy, aren't I? Uh... Does it matter? Does it matter? I don't know. Does it matter? I don't know. Okay. I think these are actual people. Wait, I don't have an item? Everyone else has an item. Why don't I have an item? What? I don't even have an item, dude. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know. Yeah, we start off as little baby bud, don't we? Three. Okay, they can have this one, I guess. So I don't think we share XP, or the one that gets the last hit gets the most XP, so... Okay, cool. We got some stuff going on. We got how many bot? There we go, we got some score. Ah, she missed! Ah, <laughs> I see that there's an Absol up there that I kind of don't want to deal with. Is everyone just ignoring each other at the moment? I'm going to get this Ordinary as well. Sweet. Uh, I'm going to go with Flame Charge. Ah! Help me! Sweet. I'm two levels above. You, you're not going to beat me, dude. Even if my speed is slowed, you you will not beat me. Don't even try it. Like, I know. I'm going to be the winner. Are there any jungle creatures? Okay, I'm not going to mess with that. Absol's there. Damn it! Hmm, I'm thinking, where should we go? Back bot, back bot, because we're still a level above, I think. I think we've still got an advantage here. We do need to collect some actual, uh, some actual items though, I think. I don't know how much damage everyone does, so I don't I don't trust it. Elder Goss. Heal me. Wait, what? Oh, that was Dreadnor. Oh my god, that was a lot of damage. Okay, my bad. That was my bad. <laughs> that was so much damage, what the heck? I guess it's because it's more of a later game thing. Come on, let's go and get this bloody Ivysaur. Sweet. Fly? I'm gonna go with fly. Why is no one scoring up here? Oh? 
Oh, I see. I see how that works now. Okay. I'm kind of throwing here, but I'm also trying to learn how everything works. I get it. I get fly now. I don't know if I like that upgrade, actually. Maybe that was a mistake. Oh, they took Rotom, didn't they? Oh, I can drop whenever I want. Ah, that would have been helpful. Okay. A couple of uh, newbie mistakes, but I think we're okay. I'm gonna heal quick. Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to take that from him. Okay, I think I keep screwing up buttons that I don't want to press. Forgive me, it's my first game. Please forgive me. He's just gonna heal infinitely in there. I don't think we can... I don't think we can really touch him. Come here. Come here. I can't... I can't help you. Come on, touch me. Touch me, baby. Try it. Ah, I just fly away. Okay, yeah, they are way overleveled. What is he, level 11? Oh, Jesus. I think, I think things have been happening when I haven't been paying attention. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, let's go top again, because I think they've really, uh... I think they're struggling. Okay, there we go. That was kind of pog. Oh, what? 2,000 damage! Come on, Snorlax, go help Gengar. Yes, buddy. I think it was worth. He's got so many Aos balls, he can't even pick them up. That was worth. I think my, uh, I think my sacrifice was worth it there. See, I thought if I jumped when they jump in, it might actually work, and I was, I was correct. That sleep's really annoying, though. Let's take out this Rotom quick. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna score. I don't care. I'm, I'm just, I'm just gonna score. I, 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 I don't care. <laughs> I'm just gonna go score, dude. Okay, that was probably a little bit overkill, but... Snorlax is ignoring it? Fantastic. Can we get him? I don't think we can actually get him. Nice. Decimating their goals, dude. They're doing uh, Zapdos right now. We need to be careful of the steel over here as well. Ah! Damn it, my bad. I didn't mean to do that to that guy. I am so sorry. I am so very sorry, Charizard. Okay, I need to heal. Damn it! <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if it's a 
attack patterns. No, take out the Absol. No, it's gonna steal. No, don't, don't let Absol steal. Oh my goodness, I so thought we were gonna get stolen from. Okay, that was my bad. Super my bad. Again, I don't know any of the damage values or anything. See, I'd rather push the game to its limits right now rather than just, you know, faff around. Uh, someone gonna deal with that Machamp down bot? Uh, I think, uh, I think, uh, I think Machamp's uh, about to destroy everyone. Who actually won? You win. Oh, sweet! I was scared at the end there when the um, Machamp started completely demolishing everything, but <laughs> I think we're okay. Oh, wait, I scored so much. What? I scored so much. What the heck? I just demolished them. What? I, I just absolutely decimated that team. What? I played horribly. Okay. Uh, so I can actually buy anything with these now. I assume I'm going to have to play a lot. But we start a new event for trainers. We've just arrived on AOS. We call it the Beginner Challenge. I hope we'll try it out. Okay. Welcome to the Beginner Challenge. You can receive a wide variety of rewards by completing the missions here. New missions and rewards will appear one after the other here over the course of one week, so you want to check back every day. The challenge itself will last for 30 days. Um, I, we've got a, uh, what's that, muscle band? We've got 500 coinage. Yes, please. So participate in a standal, standard battle four times and complete the advanced one tutorial can i get an item because everyone else had an item and i did not check the rest of the tutorial okay maybe it'll give me an item at the end yeah no kda ska but come on that was pretty good i decimated those guys here you can review the first tutorial or try out some other tutorials for intermediate trainers check them out once you get used to battles uh, so we've done those uh, I guess that means I can't claim anymore. Learn how to aim and cancel. To be fair, I don't know how to cancel. Look at them SKs! Yo! Dude, look at the SKs! <laughs> look, as soon as I get Cramorant, there's, there's... That's it. There's gonna be... There's gonna be no ifs and no buts. Everyone's gonna get destroyed. I'm gonna be world rank 1 Cramorant. 100%. Welcome, have you gotten the hang of your night battles? Here you can learn how to aim and cancel. In this tutorial, you'll practice with Cinderace. Uh, press R. Yes, I know how to do that. Press R to use a move and automatically unleash it on your target. Yeah, I know how to do that. You can change the direction of a move by holding down R and tilting R. Aim by pressing R and tilting R. Aim carefully with Pyro Ball and knock out Mr. Mime. Okay. If you want to cancel a move, press B. Ah, okay. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. Wow, that was the hardest tutorial I've ever done in my life. Not having a death count helps reduce toxicity, maybe. I guess it doesn't really matter because of how fast paced it is, and especially early game, I think you just uh, spawn really quickly. Defeat Rotom to make your opponent's goal zones defenseless. Let's actually deal with this Rotom. I don't want to get destroyed by Dreadnought again. That was embarrassing. I did not enjoy that. He, he like half health me, it felt like. I'm sure the uh, opponent also attacking me didn't help, but... You know. Yeah, the champ also did a lot of damage earlier. Oh, Pikachu again! A battle broke out on the top path. Help your teammates. Okay, I'm going. I'm going. Speed! <laughs> Electro Web actually does stun. Why does Pikachu seem so good? 
Like, legitly, why does Pikachu actually seem pog? Okay, Rotom helps with the, the claiming. When you defeat Rotom and it reaches an opposing goal zone, your team gains 20 points. What's more, the goal zone will become defenseless for a short amount of time. Your team's goal scoring speed is increased dramatically while your opponent's goal zones are defenseless. Yeah, that's what happened last time. I, I saw that. Boom! Get that A-palm. Disgustingly good. Disgustingly OP, even. When a goal zone is destroyed, the effects of the speed flux zone connected to it disappear as well. Yeah, I assumed that. Okay, let's uh, defeat this Apom as well. So I guess that a lot of the choices they give you are like between whether you want more um, CC or just blatant damage from the looks of it. At least with a couple of characters I've seen. He did appear again, but I'm right here, so can I just like... I'm gonna go Dunkies first. Also, why is FPS set to 59 and not 60? Like, 59? Seriously, you can be 60? Is that just a visual error? 59. How oddly annoying. How oddly annoying. But either way, let's go, 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 go. Let's score, baby! Uh, any more jungle camps? Oh, there is an Ordinoi there. Alright, I need to remember I can look at more of the map by doing that. Immobilized! Come on, we should be able to finish this off now. Computer, why? Why do you keep obsessing over Rotom? Rotom does not care about you. Ay ay ay! Ay caramba! This is very suboptimal gameplay, allied NPCs. Come on, just beat up that Charmander. He's so weak. Come on, Rotom baby! Come on, Rotom baby! Broken. It's broken. Okay, there's the tutorial done. These are very, very simple. Very, very easy peasy lemon squeezy. Advanced level two. Another 800, fantastic. Uh, advanced three. Yeah, I've noticed that uh, if you just stand under Zapdos, you die very quickly. <laughs> so let's not do that. Let's definitely not do that. You know, uh, I wouldn't normally suggest that. I mean, we can. I don't think it's a good idea. You all loaded in Switch? Ooh, we get to play as Talonflame! Well, free evolution. Fletchling! Okay, can we go? So we can still move while we look at the map as well, which is really nice. Sweet. I like it. I do absolutely adore the invincibility that you get with Talonflame, though. Like, genuinely, it is so good. Really? We can beat Zapdos at level 4? Didn't feel like that in the actual game. Can I jump over that? No. Okay. Zapdos buff! Wait, so we can just insta-score with the Zapdos buff? Is that how that works? If so, that's pretty good. That's pretty good if that's true.
Get out of here, Charmander. Another nine. Oh, I'm so slow. Oh, disgusting. Alright. You can't get me. You cannot best me, Squirtle. I'll be so interested to see the, uh, like, the high-level gameplay for this game. Seriously, it's going to be so random. Imagine if, like, Elder Goss and Wigglytuff were in there. <laughs> and then you just see tournament play with bloody Wigglytuffs. Man, that would be, like, something to live for. Wigglytuff being, like, the, the strongest character in the game. I don't actually know what the tiers are like. Like, tier lists and things like that, I have no idea. Um, but I can so see Wigglytuff being that. Defeating Ludicolo, Bufalant, or Dreadnought can help swing the tide of battle in your favour. Something different happens when you defeat each one, so let's give them all a try. Okay, let's go. Defeating Ludicolo will give your Pokemon a purple aura. Try attacking wild Pokemon with low HP while your Pokemon has this aura. It'll deal more damage. Ah, so it deals bonus damage at low health. Ah. Okay. I don't actually see any wild Pokemon though. Defeating Boofalant will give your Pokemon an orange aura. As long as your Pokemon has this aura, its attacks can decrease the movement speed of opposing Pokemon. That sounds OP. A lot of slow, hard CC, and slaps. Be slaps. This Boofalant aura sounds disgustingly good. Like, just permanent slow on your attacks? How, how would one escape? How would one escape? I, I do not know. Okay, let's bash him up. You destroyed me and decimated me earlier and I was not a fan of it. So can you uh, not do that anymore, ever again? Going to jungle camps is like the most embarrassing thing. Now I have a shield. Okay. We got shield. We got shield going. That's cool. Glad to have a shield. 800. Is that everything? Okay. So I've done all of that now. How many... Wait, can I afford Cramorant? Hang, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Can I already afford Cramorant? I can! Oh, um, no, I can't. It was 8,000. I forgot. I was going to say, I could afford um, one of the 6K, but I don't want the 6Ks. I want the, uh, I want Cramorant now. Immediately. So how do I... Are there any more challenges? Another 400. We're getting closer. Standard battles four times. That'll give us some. Okay. Another 30. Another 50. Alright, we're getting there. We're gonna have Cramorant soon. We're gonna have Cramorant soon. Okay, I... So quick battles is at trainer level 8. They're already super quick. Yet you can do them even faster? Wild then. wild. I'm so happy I have the dope eyes. Oh, okay. Oh, big stretch. Talonflame. I am Talonflame. I'm sorry. You cannot argue with me. I assume in, like, the early stages, the actual team comp's not gonna matter that much. Um... Oh. 
I do actually have an item selected now, so this should work, right? Hello. Hello, Julia. G Gulia. Guilia. I guess we get to see Zera Aura as well. I think it might be a good idea for me to play every character at least once as we lock, unlock Cremorant, and then I'll just have like two mains. Because generally speaking, um, generally speaking, it's better to just have a couple of mains in games like this rather than, you know, trying to play every character at top tier. You can have a lot of characters that you touch, but having lots of mains is usually not not good. Where's everyone going? We're going bot. I don't know what the uh, general rule is. But here it's just a bit of jungle farming at the beginning. Okay, where are we going? We need to be careful of the opponent seeing us doing this. Let's, let's take that jungle farm. Elder Goss, what are you doing? Elder Goss, what are you doing? What was that? What are you doing? Yeah, let's, uh... Ah, careful! M Machop, what are you doing? Machop, you're in that jungle, bro! Bro, bro, you need to- you need to calm your farm. We're in a bad zone. I think we need to get out. Bro, we need to get out. Oh, save me, daddy! Okay, Absol scoring. Ah, 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 ah! Ah, that uh, Absol was coming for my bacon. I'm safe. Okay, what did we go with before? I kind of like the flame charge. Oh, brother. I used that in the complete wrong direction, I'll be honest. Why are there so many bot? I'm like solo, solo dealing with bot right now. Come on, deal with it. Oh, Zera Aura, baby! Oh, sweet, dude! We just destroyed them. Double dunked. Take out Haunter. Yeah, come on, Zera Aura, we got this. Oh. I'm going with Fly again. Fly was disgusting. Look at this. We're, we're absolutely overpowered. I'm level 7. Could I take that Elder Goss? Damn it. You're mine, baby. Talonflame's disgusting. Is, is Zera Aura getting attacked by someone? No? I'm gonna heal. Why is that, um, Charmeleon just ignoring everyone? Oh, damn it! If only. 
don't have enough damage for that yet. But um, they are no match. I didn't even see the Elder Goss. Okay, I didn't pick up any of those. We're two levels above. We should be able to deal with this, right? Oh, this poor chop. No! I used it the wrong way! Balls! Everyone else is getting all the drops and not me. I don't like it. Let's take this slow. Now I'm going to go and beat up everyone up top. What? I thought I could use it through. Oh my god, I'm throwing. Oh my god, I'm a thrower team. I'm so sorry. I apologize from the bottom of my poor heart. I am so sorry. I thought I could use that over over the wall. Oh my god. I knew that we could take that. Too good. Gengar's going bot, it seems. Okay, we can't do that. We can't. I'm outies. Let's upgrade our flame charge. Roton, can you not attack me, please? I'm doing it. Somehow we're getting our HP back, which is fantastic. I kind of want to use my Unite move. So they're going for bot, but we are way ahead. Oh, Talent Flame's so good. Okay, I think he's a, yeah, he's a, he's a goner. He's a goner, definitely. I'm gonna heal, because I have not healed in a long time. <laughs> I've been doing everything except healing. One of our goal zones was destroyed. That's not good. That's not Gucci. Okay, Talonflame, take me to these boys. Bash him. Beat him. Are they just ignoring us? I guess. Oh, that DMG. You like that? You like that damage? Have they just given up? No, it looks like they've given up. Sweet. Oh yeah, they got they got dunked on. Oh boy. Well, this has been uh I'm I'm assuming the games that feel bad do feel pretty bad. Elfie, I was gonna say that. Zero Aura seems to be doing a lot. He did do a lot. We were like the 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 powerhouse team. 
12 kills though. Not bad. I did 11 assists. Come on, 11 assists. 11 assists is pretty good. Right, 11 assists. Okay. 